So here is the S800 Shadow Wing, and I have made a lot of changes to this little baby. Inside, pretty much the same, the little flight controller, the um, receiver in here, D4R2, didn't put it out there because long servo leads, just unnecessary. So I've got it there, one antenna up there, one antenna embedded in the wing here. Got the Eagle, Runcam Eagle camera. I've got just a pretty generic um, GoPro clone here. Just mainly to provide nose weight as much as anything, but I will provide some HD footage from this. And over here I've got a Pagoda antenna, and as you can see, and underneath I've got a different FPV transmitter, because the one that I had just smoked, the one that came with it didn't work, and then when I got down after the first flight, all the heat shrink had melted, it was just up in smoke. Now, also, you notice I've got a Sunny Sky 2207 motor, because the 2205, it smoked too. Big smoke trail through the sky, and the ESC blew up. So, I've got a, it's an RC timer, 30 amp ESC, with a Sunny Sky 2207, 2100 kV, because I'm running four cells, and a 6x45 prop, it's an HQ prop, so that's going to give you an idea of what we've got in this machine. Now I think it's time to fire it up and see how it flies.
So there it is, that was the S800 Reptile Shadow, or whatever they call it. And I've got to say, in this configuration it flies pretty damn well. The little Pagoda antenna performed exceptionally well on this. Very low drag as well, if you look at it, there's not much to create drag there. And it gave a very consistent signal, I was quite impressed. The little stabiliser, that seems to work pretty damn well. I really noticed the difference flying in the turbulent conditions today, turning that off and on, it really did. Although the model is not smooth, in turbulence it bounces up and down because the problem with wings is you don't have a long tail moment so they tend to be you know a little bit bouncy in pitch also in yaw because the fins are not that far from the center of gravity so you get a bit of that yaw going on and a bit of the old pitch going on so it was very turbulent today with a lot of thermal activity so this performed you know pretty damn well i was quite happy with the way it worked the 2207 motor seems well suited to this frame um, and it's not being stressed it's not it comes down barely warm the ESC likewise, it was barely warm, so that was all fine and dandy. This Multistar 4-cell 1400 pack, perfect size, because you can just put the cap on, the hatch on, you don't have to carve anything out. And on 4-cells, this really does honk along very nicely. Um, camera, the only real reason I use a camera mostly in here is for the weight, because unfortunately the CG is going to be too far back if you don't have a weight in here. I've got an 1800 four cell pack which does bring the center of gravity almost right but then it's a tight fit under there. I may have to carve a bit of foam out. I'd rather fly it like this so yeah maybe I'll just keep the recording camera in there. The run cam eagle worked extremely well as I expected. Really nice high resolution picture. Um, you do get some aliasing on those diagonals but you know that's I live with that. The quality and the light handling is fantastic out of this camera. Really really enjoyed the flying so there you go. Um, I didn't even put the stickers on this thing. I don't have any trouble orienting it, um, flying line of sight. I don't know why other people say they do, but I don't. Um, and I just like the, the, you know, being all black, that's fine. I've got no problems with that. So there you go. That's it. Uh, look, the black packing tape over the wiring, that makes it look nice from, you, know, you don't get that horrible wiring showing up. And it's 100% like new, not even damaged. So there you go. I'd say on reflection after having some FPV flying time with this, it's really nice. I like it a lot. Now, I am going to try and get the mini race wing done in the next few days. It's taken a lot of lot of time because of the prototype issues that I've spoken about. So stay tuned and I will be comparing the mini race wing to this. Um, but I think they're two different kinds of machines. This is more your sport fun machine. Mini race wing, I expect it to be quite a bit faster. This is this is fast, but it's not uber fast, even on four cells. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Oh, for those who want to know, this is an HQ 6x45 propeller. Uh, not a bull nose. The bull nose draws way too much current and overheat things, so I'm just using the regular propeller. There you go. Questions, comments in the usual place. Thank you for watching. Now it's time for me to get home. It's late in the day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.